Hi, this is Shady, and today we are visiting the greatest competitor Inoue Kose. So he is very much known for his Uchimata and today I'm gonna show you arguably one of the rarest setups, entries and ways to execute this particular throw and not only that but he has done it as a kid so today we're gonna be visiting a footage of him when he was back in high school and executes one of the best Uchimatas a high school, a high school student can actually perform so there he is you can see him with the shaved head still doing that thing where he rotates around the wrist rotates his head around the wrist so uh, right versus right it's very tough to get your grips on so what he does is get a one-sided grip where the thumb is in and goes for a sublime uchimata so he actually has a cross grip where the thumb is in and the arm that would otherwise grab the sleeve is grabbing the lapel and goes in for what is called a one-step uchimata and gets a huge lift posts his forearm on the ground and then throws himself on the ground to complete the throw actually he goes over this in the fighting films dvd link in the description where it's called attack on right side so as you can see here in this photo he uses his forearm to push against the head while his thumb is in and the arm that would other or the hand that would otherwise grab the sleeve it would grab either the armpit or the opposite uh, lapel and here goes for uchimata and since it's one-sided it's very easy to complete the throw with the hands punching the mat with both hands or you can just let go of the top grip and go for a makikomi throw so it still exists um, you can see here Maruyama Joshiro in the 2019 World Championship attempting it. However, his top grip is somewhat different. It's inverted. The thumb is out while the fingers are in. So let's see it here. Again, um, it's tough to get a you know same side grip, but he gets it, and it's very surprising type of grip. And at the same time, you would be surprised of how easy it is to get them. Uh, bending forward now Uchimata Makikomi is not a strange throw for Inoue he does it uh, all the way up, to, up until the end of his career he, here he is in the 2004 Olympic Games notice how he lets go of the lapel hand and in order to complete the throw he lets go and posts his forearm on the mat and gets himself on the ground here he is in the 2007 world championship against the belarusian let's go post forum on the ground and completes the throw uh, however when it comes to uchimata makikomi from what i learned from the japanese is that they're not a big fan of this variation simply because it means that you are not strong enough to complete the uchimata you have to let go and throw yourself on the ground in order to finish it uh, but you know Kose does not need to prove that he is good at Uchimata obviously he has proved it in the years but this variation of the one-sided uh, two hands on the lapel grip is very unique it's very tricky and it's certainly unexpected even uh, in today's judo because it's something that you don't see every day and from all of his students, if I'm not mistaken, it's only Maruyama who has been able to replicate it and use it. So as a high school kid, getting that lift and getting that surprise grip, it's very impressive in my opinion and uh, it should be talked about. So it's one of the rarest ways of doing Uchimata. So if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.